konnichiwa! Hello, my name is Miki and welcome to my channel. Today I will be unboxing slash um, I guess kind of reviewing what's inside the Target Beauty Box. Now Target comes out with the Beauty Box I believe every season so this is Fall's Beauty Box. These boxes are full of trial sizes of products that you can get that are suited and themed to that season. So I'm guessing there's going to be um, things in here to prepare for the fall. They do give you a description of what's in the box on the Target website when you get it. And so I know the gist of what about what's in here. So the fact that they list it on the website kind of gives you, uh, you know, a chance to decide whether you want to get the beauty box or not. And instead of, you know, buying a box that you have no idea what's going to be inside of it. And um, when I saw the contents of what's going to be inside the box, I definitely saw some things that I wanted to try, which is why I purchased this season's Target box. So if you're interested to see what's in this fall's Target beauty box, then stick around. So every season, Target comes out with a beauty box. Um, they retail for $7. I think they're always $7. I'm not really sure. Um, but I believe every time I've bought one, they've been around $7 or $8. All of these boxes come with things that are themed for that season coming up. And so this beauty box would be themed for the fall. Now on Target, you can go and find what is inside the box. It gives you a preview so you're not just blindly buying a beauty box. I am subscribed to the Walmart... I can't speak today. I'm subscribed to the Walmart beauty box which comes every season as well so I should be expecting that soon. And with the Walmart beauty box you don't know what's going to be in it. Um, you just know that it's tailored to that season that is coming up or that current season. So I'm not even sure when it's gonna get here. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and open the box. It did come wrapped in plastic, but I just tore it off. It literally comes wrapped with a sticker on it with your address and they stick it just in your mailbox and you're on your way. Let's open this up. And okay, so we got a little pamphlet here. It says, hello new leaf. Um, it's time to refresh, recharge, and refine. Inside this box, you'll find a few of our faves that are sure to give you a beauty boost this fall. Try them out, and if you love them as much as we do, find the full-size version at Target.com. Um, so, yeah, and basically on the back of the pamphlet, it tells you what you're getting in the box, and normally they do include a coupon. This is a $3 off coupon for beauty purchase of $15 or more. So basically when you spend $15, you can use this coupon and get $3 off of your total. There you go, we have it, there we have it. All the items nice and neatly in the box. First thing is the Up and Up Premium Cotton Rounds. Now these are just regular cotton, not squares, cotton rounds um, to use with, you know, toner or makeup remover or whatever you wanna use it for. Um, I actually have a bunch of these, but you can never have enough. Another thing we got in here is Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Micellar Cleansing Water. Now, I don't know if it's micellar or micellar. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to call it micellar because, or micellar, I don't even know. It just sounds ridiculous no matter how you say it. Um, I've never tried these because I just don't feel like this would actually remove my makeup, if that makes any sense, because I mean, it's just cleansing water. I like things that foam and I like oil cleansers because with oil, I know that it's for sure that it's breaking down um, my waterproof mascara and all the other things because oil usually is great at breaking down um, formulas and all that. So um, I'm going to have to give this a try because I mean, it says cleanse, Cleanses, removes makeup, and instantly hydrates. And I need anything that will hydrate my skin. It is so dry already and it's not even fall yet. So I definitely need something to help my skin. And I'm hoping uh, when I try this, it'll, it'll help. Okay, so apparently you are supposed to apply a generous amount to a cotton pad, which they have provided me. Wipe the cotton pad all around the face. No need to rub the skin. Um, see, that's another thing, like, unless you actually wash your face, I just don't feel like you're going to take all your makeup off. I, I just don't. And it says no need to rinse after. That's, to me, especially, like, if it's before bedtime, why wouldn't you rinse your face? I'm just not into these no need to rinse afterwards type deals, 
but I will give this a try. I mean, that's the reason why I got this box. This is one of the other things that I have been wanting to try, which I'm kind of glad they included in the box. It's totally random, has nothing to do with fall season, but um, this is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Bright and Strong, Strong and Bright. Uh, it's toothpaste. And I literally went to the dentist like last week and was told that I have sensitive teeth and I need sensitive toothpaste. And they were trying to sell me toothpaste that was 30 fucking dollars for a tube. $30 for a tube. No thanks. I'm sorry. My teeth are not that sensitive. So um, I was really excited when I found out that this was in the box because I've been wanting to try Sensodyne for a while. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this toothpaste. Ooh, the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. I have never tried this, but I have seen it and I'm excited to try it. Um, this is in the color Very Black. It has this weird, weird brush on it. Let's see what the pamphlet says. It says, a special brush catches, combs, and teases, teases for perfectly long, full lashes. Well, let's hope that it does that because my lashes are short and stubby and they need all the help they can get. I'm reading this and this is not waterproof, which I don't really like because anything that's not waterproof usually tends to smudge on my face. Obviously, for fall, so... I won't be sweating in fall since, I mean, I do live in the state of Washington and fall is pretty, pretty darn chilly. So this might actually work. Um, so I'm excited to try that as well. Next we have the Acure Ultra Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner in these two cute little tubes. This is a special formula that helps to hydrate, boost healthy hair growth, and support strong keratin production. As you can see, my hair is fucking disgusting. Um, it needs a trim. It is so dry and brittle and the split ends are ridiculous. I'm really excited to try this because I need all the help I can get with my hair, my face, anything because everything on me is just crackling and flaking and it just it's just so grody. Like I, I can't stand it. So I am excited to try these. Now I will say with people who have hair that are that is as long as mine or longer that these travel sizes are kind of hit and miss. It's too much for one shampoo use or too little for two shampoo uses so I don't know if this is going to be enough for two but I'm gonna try to you know stretch it out so uh, excited to try these out as well next is the this is so cute it's so tiny the Garnier skin active moisture balm this thing is so tight look at this thing it's so my hands are really tiny all like I mean this is this is adorable um, this is the Skin Active Moisture Balm, which I think I already said, the Antioxidant Super Moisturizer, Vitamin C, E, and Super Fruits Repair, Protect, and Help Promote Healthy, Youthful Looking Skin. So I'm going to open it up. Ooh. Oh, it smells amazing, and it's obviously gel, and, um, I cannot wait to try this. Ooh, it feels almost similar, very similar to the Neutrogena one. And it just smells so good. It smells really, really good. So I definitely cannot wait to try this little mini thing. Oh God, we meet again. This next product, I I can't say that I like hate it. It's just a really dangerous product. And when I say that, I mean it is fucking dangerous. Like you have to be careful when you use this. Um, this is the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. Now by in shower body lotion means while you are in the shower, while you are wet, you rub this on your skin and then you rinse it off afterwards. So it's basically so you don't have to put on lotion after you get out of the shower, after you dry off. This thing is fucking deadly. It is death in a tube. It worked for my skin, but oh dear goodness. When you use this, you had better scrub that damn tub after you're finished because if not, someone's going to slip and fall and break their neck in there. This stuff is, it smells amazing, it feels great, but once you get it on the sides of your tub, on the bottom of your tub, it is so slippery, it is so, so dangerous that you just really have to be careful with this product. It even has a, a caution on it. Um, it says, take care to avoid slipping in tub or shower because that that's how dangerous this thing is. They had to put a warning label on it. So basically what you do is um, after you, you know, 
soap your body the normal way and rinse it off, you put this on in place of your lotion. So if you're someone that puts lotion on after you get out of the shower, basically this replaces that. When I saw like commercials and stuff for these, it was like, oh, save your time uh, in the shower getting ready and you don't have to put lotion on afterwards. Well, I don't get that because it's also an extra step in the shower. So basically you're not really getting to where you need to go faster because you're still taking an extra step to apply this to your body while you're in the shower and you could potentially slip, fall and and hurt yourself. So I honestly do not recommend this. I I just, I say take the freaking time to just put on some lotion when you get out. Dry yourself off and put some damn lotion on because it is a very dangerous product. I don't know why or who came up with this. This is a no-go for me. I will be donating this or getting rid of it or what have you. I actually have two big of, two of the full-size tubes uh, in a bag to donate. So that is all that is in the box for the Target Beauty Box. Um, like I said before, there is a Walmart Fall Beauty Box coming out, so I will be doing an unboxing since, you know, I don't know what's going to be in it. Um, so hopefully that comes in soon. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. If you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply just want to talk shit, leave it all in the comment section below and I will be sure to get to it. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!